as your baby develops to week 30, you might experience some kind of discomfort such as shortness of breath. And this is because your uterus is growing so much that it is pressing your belly against your lungs. It's so cloudy in there, but it is all normal. <music> So is the Braxton Hicks contractions, the mood swings, belly button changes, brown discharge, and fatigue. Hi, my name is Javita, and this is a research-based channel for women and everything women. So if this looks like what you've been looking for, you might want to stick around because this is just a section of the whole channel. The picture is bigger than what you can see. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Let us do a little question and answer this week. As a matter of fact, you should be asking yourself these following questions. Number one, what position and movement is your baby in at week 30 of pregnancy? Two, how do you know if something is wrong at 30 weeks pregnant? Number three, what should you be worried about at 30 weeks pregnant? And number four, why does it hurt when I turn over in bed at 30 weeks pregnant? I believe those are the questions that you might have and you might even have more but let us tackle these few questions so starting with what position and movement your baby is at 30 weeks pregnant at 30 weeks your baby is still head down and your fetus has 1.5 pints of amniotic fluid for your baby to keep enjoying itself so the floating parade is actually going on it may feel cramped in there, like stuffy uh, because of the way you feel all bloated and all that because you, you feel like there isn't enough room for you, but your baby is very, very comfortable. Your body will definitely create a, a space, enough space for your baby. The body knows how to compensate for that creature, that beautiful creature that is going on or growing inside you. So how do you know if something is wrong at 30 weeks pregnant? Number one, you might experience severe nausea and throwing up. Number two, you might experience severe belly pain that won't go away. Number three, which is very important, your baby's movement slowing down or entirely stopping at 30 weeks pregnant. You need to visit the doctor immediately. Number four, vaginal bleeding or fluid leaking during pregnancy. Number five, severe swelling, readiness, or pain on your leg and your arm. Number six, overwhelming tiredness. Please, if you ever experience such, you know what to do. Don't try and manage it at home. See the doctor. All right, can bending over hurt my baby in third trimester? The answer is no. When I say you're safe, I mean you're safe because bending over has no issue whatsoever provided your pregnancy is a healthy one provided you don't need the doctor's assistance or you're not in bed or you you're not in in any kind of intensive care and you've been carrying along your pregnancy normally with the supervision of both your doctor and your midwife you know you're not supposed to lift heavy things right so what are you bending over for just pick up something in a very decent manner and move on you really do not need all those movements you really don't need it that's my recommendation but is it bad for you is it harmful for your baby no it's not but just stay away from it from it just do away with it what should i be worried about at 30 weeks pregnant call your doctor if the contractions won't stop or you have four or more contractions in an hour it could be a preterm label you don't want to take chances your normal weight gain should be about 8 plus kg to 11 plus kg if you are having a single baby and 11 plus kg to 18 plus kg if you're having twins anything other than that you need to consult the doctor so why does it hurt when i turn over in bed at week 30 of pregnancy you know in time past i've said something about us getting a maternity pillow or utilizing the pillows we have at home to support ourselves while we're lying down but there are people who have rare cases whereby whenever they want to turn over it really aches them and the reason for that is the pgp the pelvic girdle pain pgp affects one in every five pregnant women so if you find yourself to be one of them just consult your doctor as your baby grows in the womb 
the extra weight and the changes that occur on your body will tend to put more strain on your pelvis. And PGP occurs when your joints move unevenly. So put less strain on yourself. Don't lift heavy things. Um, you can do some stretches, which are recommended by your midwife or your doctor, but do not put so much strain on yourself. You can also do some stretchy or some um, pelvic exercises that can help you, but be gentle about everything that you do. And this 30 weeks will be as easy and as enjoyable as possible. Mind you, every pain or discomfort or any mild pain, sorry, not major pain, or discomfort you encounter in the course of this journey of pregnancy is a blessing. It's something that you ought to cherish for the rest of your life because you're bringing about somebody just like you to come to this world. And it is something you ought to be happy about. So that'll be all for now. Thanks for watching. This is 30 weeks pregnant and we are moving up to 31 weeks pregnant. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. If you're yet to be a member of this family, you might want to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any, any, any video. So beautiful mommies, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. See ya.